Bobby Marks is here. Sorry, I would have put, see, I, I got, I'm going to let you guys in on a little TV secret. You got, you got places to put your microphones, and I would have done this far more elegantly if I knew I was going to be standing up here letting you all get the full inventory of your guy here. See, it's a little sloppy. Uh, yeah, we look alike. <laughs> Enough. Okay. So everybody out there that's just saying, hey, go get Kawhi, and that's fun to say on Twitter because you can just say anything. How hard is it going to be for the Lakers to, to bring somebody of that caliber in salary-wise? Uh, extremely, extremely hard, and we can walk you through. Please do. Right now, the Lakers are at $47.6 million. This is before all the transactions today, and we are leaving Luol Deng's $18 million on the cap. We are not stretching it over five, million, uh, over five years to reduce his number. We are leaving Julius Randle's $12.4 million there. Mm -hmm. And when we put James over, we slide him in, that goes down to $12.8 million. So you've got a little bit of a room. They, they agreed to sign Contavious Caldwell-Pope, $12 million for one year. When we put KCP in, we had him projected at $9 million. Okay. So we got a little bit of a bump there. We put KCP in. That leaves you at $1.7 million in room. What they're going to do is they're going to use that room first. They've got a couple second rounders. Uh, Svi Mahalik from Kansas, who they drafted, they're going to probably sign him to using a, a little bit of that room. Now here's the thing. Now you agree to a term with uh, Lance Stevenson, right. the 4.4 room mid-level exception. Uh -huh. We can put um, Lance in here. We had him projected at $1.5 million. Okay. So he is getting the $4.5 million room mid-level here. Born ready, Steve. Always. Okay, so now we got net, we're in the red. Now we're in the red. But you can use the room mid-level and exceed the cap. That is part of the rule. You don't have to be under the cap to, to use that. Now we're going to add JaVale McGee. Now we're going to add JaVale McGee uh -huh. to the minimum. You can use the minimum exception. JaVale McGee, 1.5 million. You can use it and exceed the cap. And now this is your Laker team right now. Uh, LeBron, Luol Deng, Julius Randle still on, on, on the roster. And when you, when you were with us earlier tonight and, and you were talking me through this and you were explaining how if, if they were going to deal with the Spurs, right, and they could have moved, they could have moved a couple of firsts and some, and some attractive pieces, but that can't be done now? Why? It's going to be extremely difficult. Never say never, but this is going to be a hard path. L Luol Deng. That's non-negotiable for San Antonio, unless you want to throw in three first-round picks, and I don't think the Lakers are willing to do that. Julius Randle, you have that hold there. Uh -huh. That is counting against the cap. And, and when you look at it, when we scroll through here, you have Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, uh, Mo Wagner, who you just signed. You can't trade him for 30 days. Kuzma Kyle be Kuzma, very attractive. Had a great jo rookie season. Josh Hart. You can, you can combine all those, and that gets you to $18 million. But you basically have to clear out all your young players here. So you and have that, to get rid of everybody. You got to get rid of everybody because you are not a team under the cap right now. And you'd have to do the same thing to get Boogie Cousins. Boogie Cousins is unrealistic. Okay, so everybody out there that's saying that that's what you want to do, you can't do it. So you're going to have to find a different path. You will. Okay, or wait till next summer. That, well, when you have a max salary slot. There you go. All right. See? Bobby, thank you.